Cut Craft, and boy am I excited to show you some a new dye series from Cheryl Mazzetti. And it's a new new albums, but with a little twist. Um, it not only are they albums, but she's also designed a box that those albums fit inside. So you are going to love this. And I want to show you the boxes really quick. And then I'm going to show you the albums and how they all go together and then how you put the boxes together. So um, stick with me for a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of excitement. Um, so let's just start with album flower. So um, let me show you quick the sample. And you're like, oh, that's cool. That's really pretty. It's an album. It's a flower. Um, you know, that's, that's really pretty. It's a good size. You know, neat. Um, but it does something a little extraordinary. Well, one, it fits in, you know, it fits inside a box. That's pretty cool. You know, it's beautiful. You know, it's really cool. But also, when you cut it out, I just wanted to give you, a, show you kind of what it does. It doesn't cut the petals out all the way. So that you can literally, it gives you some crease blades in there that you can literally bend those out and up and then curl them if you like or bend them or manipulate them. Um, you could cut them out of um, plastic, you could cut them out of craft metal, you could do some really neat things out of that. And this die, um, it's a two die set, and so you can see on here that you get a really large flower that does that, and you get a smaller flower, so you can accent inside here. Or you can build them up on the main page, so that's really cool. And then on the second die board, you get, um, you get a smaller flower so that you can um, use to layer inside here. You even get a smaller one so that you can layer inside that even smaller, uh, you know, creasing flower. And then you get two leaves so that you can also use with the flowers. They have a crease inside them so you can bend them really easy to add depth and dimension. And then um, this is a little border die. So what that is, and I'm going to show you a little later on um, in the video, but those border dies are to use on the edge of these boxes. So here's what this one looks like, and I used another border die on the edge of this box. So, um, and that is on another die. So I'm going to show you that here in just a second, also. So you get just a whole, it's just a lot of value, and these can be used obviously on the album, but you can use these at home decor, you can use these on scrapbook pages, you can use these on the front of albums, you know, on cards. Um, so this die is really versatile. So there, that is the album flower. So I also want to show you the other one, which is the album party hat. And it looks, it's a two die set. Well, let me show you the sample really quick. It looks like this. And um, I used another die. I didn't show. I didn't show it to you. But this rosette is a new die of ours, so you can definitely look that up online. Um, but uh, just really cute, cute size. I mean, who doesn't have a birthday? I you know, I try not to have one anymore. But um, who doesn't have one, and who doesn't want to scrapbook their children's birthdays? And so this is great. This is also a great shape to make into banners. Um, using this also this shape um, on scrap pages is also really cool. So let me show you the die. So on this die you get the hat. So that's pretty cool. So the hat again will go right inside the box. I want to show you. Let me open the box up because it's kind of fun. So the hat will go right inside the box. And we made it a, this hat a little bit smaller so that if you say you wanted to put I put the pinwheels on the outside, but say you wanted to put a pinwheel on the top of the hat, you still could do that and it still would fit, um, especially if you angled it in there. Um, you still could put a pinwheel on top or a rosette or, you know, another shape. And so we wanted to be, you to be able to have room to um, kind of go outside the lines and also bulk up that that scrapbook, pay, um, scrapbook album as much as possible. So we gave you lots of extra room in there. So you get two pinwheels, so that's what you're seeing here on this box. And then there's that border die that I was telling you about, which um, you're gonna, you basically are gonna need to finish the box because the box ends go right to each other and then you're gonna need a little border to finish it off. And so here is that border. But you can 
could also use it. Um, you could you could wrap this together. You could make cupcake holders. You could do all kinds of fun things with this border. And then here is the second die. And so this second die gives you two different choices to put on the bottom of your hat. I chose um, I chose this little rounded um, scalloped one. There's a star and then two like little pennants that you could um, write on or put words. Um, I use the star in here. Um, the star is great, you know, for putting around the, on the hats. Um, you could also use it on the front of a rosette if you're going to use the rosette. Um, there's just a lot of fun things you can use with that. I also wanted to show you, just like the flower, um, this also has some little cutouts that you can also bend um, up and back if you wanted to. Just little tiny itty bitty cuts. So you would literally just kind of bend them up. They're not very big, but they still, if you kind of bend them, they make a really big impact. Um, so it gives you a little dimension. It's also a great placement if you want to put little jewels um, or little brads or things like that. So um, that's also a neat feature of those dies. So real quick, let me show you how to put this box together. We have actually um, have the chipboard that you can buy especially for these boxes. And it's a thinner chipboard so it bends really nice. Um, this one, I just um, used the borders on, along the edges and covered the tops. But this one, I literally covered it completely with paper and then cut it out. And as you can see, the ed edges are a little, bit, a little bit rough. They're not too bad. But you could sand them and ink them, and, um, and then you could cover the inside yourself. Um, but that's kind of a fun way to do it. So here's what the die board looked like. It is a um, giant die board, so it will only fit through a Grandmark machine. Um, it is a, it's very large. You can see it goes all the way to the end of, <laughs> of each side. So we needed all that space. Um, also what's important to know is it needs bigger than 12 by 12 paper. Um, and that's what our chipboard is. Our chipboard is actually 12 by 18. It is also pretty thin, so I wanted to show you. I, cut, I made a cutout, and it, it, it seems pretty thin for a box, but after you actually cut it out and make the box, it really isn't bad. It actually, um, as I said, after you um, decorate it, place it, paint it, do whatever you're going to do, it's actually pretty, you know, pretty strong. And so I wanted to put it together so you would kind of see, and it's literally just kind of a wraparound box. And I did it a couple different ways um, to assemble it. So you're going to just go ahead and bend um, along the crease. Okay. So as you can see, it's pretty standard. It's just a box. It's going to come together, and you can do it a couple different ways. You, well, you can see there's holes on the side here, and those holes are meant to go over to shut the box. So you can see them right here. So those holes um, are kind of meant to go on the, if you were looking at it, the left side. So. Um, Saying that, I know that those holes are going to be on the left side of the box. But as I did on this one, I didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't want it to be like that. I wanted this box so that I literally am just going to um, untie this box every time, and this box is just going to come open, and I'm going to put my album in it. Or you could have attached a ribbon to the bottom and just tied it up. I covered up the holes. In this album box, I just covered the holes right up. So I would, of course, this this um, ribbon fell off, but more than likely I would attach the ribbon so it didn't fall off every time, just on the bottom, and then I would untie it every time and then just um, let the album fall open. I didn't have to attach it right here either. I could just always kind of let my album fall open, have it kind of be interactive if I wanted to too. Um, so there's just a couple different ways that you could do this. But if I'm going to assemble this, let me get my adhesive really quick. So again, 
holes are on the left if I'm looking at it. I'm going to put some adhesive all the way to the first crease so you can kind of see. And I have really thin adhesive, but I would probably do another line of adhesive. Or if you have an adhesive gun, if you have like an inch thick, that's perfect. That would that will fit all the way on here. So let me just, but I'm just going to do it really quick so you can see it assembled. So then I'm going to bring it up. I said it's a very simple box. So there's not a lot of tabs or anything. It's just going to come up. So I've got I just assembled my box. That's how easy it is. There's not any extra tabs, so there's going to be a little um, opening there. But this is great. I mean, see, it's it's actually a pretty strong box. Now, remember how I told you that it had to have um, one of these little borders to finish it off? See how this comes just and they meet together. That's why they have to have a little border. So you cut the border, it fits exa it's exactly that size, and you would just adhere that border uh, just maybe a quarter of an inch over one of the flaps, and then adhere it down. And then you would put your ribbon in one, you know, in one hole and out the other, and then you'd wrap it around. And that's what I did here. And then you wrap it around your box, and you can tie it. Um, if you have an element on the front here like I do, I kind of have the ribbon go underneath the element. You don't have to put an element on the front of the box. I mean, the sky's the limit. You can just do anything you want. I said there, we created this box for these albums, but this box could be used for, you know, it's a 7 by 7. So you, I know you're going to have a hundred other things you can do with this cool box too. So um, have fun. Um, as I said, you can purchase this um, thinner 12 by 18 chipboard on our website and um, good luck and have fun. Mm -hmm.